Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my project pan update number nine, I think it is. So my update for September. Um, we use the hashtag team project pan this year to um, like connect with other project panners. You can literally click on the hashtag that's in the description box and it will take you to a list of videos of other people who are using that same tag. Um, so I'm going to talk about my empties first and then I'm going to get into my refresh products. So every quarter um, I'm refreshing my project which means I can rotate some things out or throw some things out if uh, I'm not enjoying them. So I have four empties. I'm going to start with the the one that we knew I would finish. Uh, this is the Nooks Hill Prodigies Oil. There was so little product in this that I introduced a new product last month anyway, just so I had something because I knew I'd only get like one or two uses out of this and that was accurate. Um, I really like this product. I, I didn't think that it would really be something that, you know, I would need or want to repurchase um, for my like you know, body hydrating routine, but I actually came to really, really enjoy it. So I would totally consider buying another one of these. I think my issue with it is I hate that it's in a spray. It's annoying. And you can see like I've got little hands and it's kind of a bit bulky and just annoying to use. Um, and I didn't like spray it on my body and then wipe it in or rub it in I would spray it in my palm and then rub like ugh, struggling with words rub it on my body that way um, so yeah not a fan of the packaging but really like the contents so maybe I would repurchase um, some other things that I finished and I'm not surprised that I finished the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Liner in Exhilarated. Um, there's a little nub, like I don't even know if you can see it, but yeah, it's not, it's not enough for an application. Um, I really liked this. The color is, you know, just so easy to wear. Um, it's a nude. It looks like my lips. Um, and it can go under anything. So I really enjoyed that. The formula was really nice, creamy, but long wearing. I don't think they actually make these ones anymore. I think they have a different line of lip liners, but I did enjoy that. Um, another one that I finished was the Ulta Beauty Watermelon Slushy Lip Scrub. There's a little bit sort of stuck on the sides, but I can't get it out, um, when I squeeze it. So she's done. Um, I really liked this. The scent is amazing. I don't think it's one of the best lip scrubs I've tried. I still prefer the Lush ones, um, but it was enjoyable. And my last empty was one that I, did, I thought I'd be working on this until the end of the year because it was taking so long to use it up. Um, but I noticed at the start of the month that it was changing. The pigmentation of it seemed to be fading really quickly. So I decided that I was going to use it as an eyeshadow base and I smashed through it. This is the Flora Ultra Copper Eye Pencil. Um, I really like the formula of these. The color is also beautiful, um, you know, metallic copper. Um, and when, like, this is pretty old, but um, when they're not old, um, they're insanely pigmented, they are creamy, but they set. So, um, you've got a little bit of time to sort of blend them in and soften them and then they'll stay put all day long. Um, really, really enjoyed it. Fantastic little eye pencil. I don't think you can get Flora in Australia. I do know there used to be a counter like a standalone counter in a shopping complex in Sydney, but I'm not sure if it's still there. So I don't think this is going to be something that I'm repurchasing. Let's get into products that um, I haven't finished, but I've got progress on or not progress on. Um, the Maybelline Master Prime Anti Redness Primer. I didn't use this. I didn't use it once. Um, I'm just not I'm not into it. So this is meant to be a green primer for helping with redness, but the ugh, the pigmentation, it's just, it's not there. It's not, 
it's not there. Let me show you something that does work. So this is from the exact same line. It's the Maybelline Master Camo uh, Color Corrector in green. And let me just show you the, the color difference. So you can see there, that is the primer. That is the color corrector. The color corrector is brilliant. I love this. I finished one this year and I bought a new one to replace it because I love it. And I got some serious discoloration from my acne this year. This is just a waste of space for me. I don't need an added step of a primer that does nothing. So I'm getting rid of it. Um, I'm not adding a primer into this project at this point. Maybe I will later in the year if I find one that I enjoy enough to actually want to use. But for now, I just want to rotate through my primers go through them, work out if it has a place in my life or not, and sort of do a clear out essentially. My foundation is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in the shade 207. So I was there at the last update and I'm now down here. To be honest, I probably could have finished this this month. Um, I did wear makeup quite a lot in September. However, I was playing with the new Smashbox 24 hour foundation. I've been wearing that a lot. So this didn't see as much use as it possibly could have. Um, but you know, it is what it is. I'll keep going on it. I love this foundation. <sighs> okay, something else that I just did not use. This is the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. I don't like it. Um, it feels like a film on my face and it's full of alcohol. And to be perfectly honest, I don't think it actually does anything for me. So I'm, I'm just not, this is kind of like primers that don't do anything. Like, why am I using it? Why? What, what do you bring to the table? Nothing. So I'm getting rid of it. My Astralis Fresh and Flawless Powder. So this has, it's broken very annoying. Um, this is what it's looking like. So you can see it's got a ring of product around there. Um, I've just been, I've been using it just to set under my eyes because I can't be bothered repressing it for such a small amount of product. I'm going to keep it in the project to see like if I can just finish that up um, by next month but I am going to reintroduce or introduce a new powder into the project because this is like I'm not repressing it for like maybe two grams of product. No, but I will finish the fuck up. Concealers. Um, okay, this one here is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW20. So last month it came in at 17.42 grams and now it is 17.17 grams. Um, I've just been using it as an eyeshadow primer. It's fine. I'm surprised I haven't hit pan on it. It's deep. Like, why are you so deep? Um, anyway, I'm going to keep going with that. I don't, I don't love it, but, you know, I don't hate it either. It's just whatever. Um, something that I have decided that I do hate is this from Makeup Forever. It's the Ultra HD Invisible Cover Concealer. So last month this came in at 8.61 grams and now it's 7.55 grams. I'm surprised I even managed to get through that because I did not enjoy this. Um, this is a very thin lightweight concealer with a very very low coverage. On me it creases and also if I wear it under my eyes it's like there's a lot of moisture in it and for some reason my mascara just transfers all under my eyes. Um, I don't like it. I'm not going to finish it. I, like, I'm fucking proud that I even got through over a gram of it. Well done me. Um, I'm not into that. I'm going to declutter it. I just do not like it. I have another one in another shade um, and that one's going as well. I'm just no. My blush. This is Tarte Parte blush. So this came in at 19.26 grams last month and this month it is 19.21 grams. Oh god blush. It'll be the death of me I swear to god. This is a pretty colour. I do enjoy it. Um, so I will, I'll hang on to it. Also it's matte so I like that. Um, I'm gonna hang on to it. I'll pop it back in my collection but I'm 
like I want to bring in something else um, to play with because I get bored of the blushes very quickly. Um, my bronzer, this is the Thin Lizzy bronzer. There's not much left. I'm annoyed that I didn't finish it. This one came in at 33.1 grams last month, but I'm not going to bother weighing it anymore. It's like, you can see. You can see how little product is in there. Um, I definitely, definitely want this done by the next update, and I don't think that will be an issue. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm enjoying it. Um, but I am looking forward to getting a jump on another bronzer this year. My beloved highlighter. This is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Highlighter in Highlight 01. I adore this. It is such a beautiful product. So it came in last month at 85.49 grams. It's now 85.42 grams. That's too much fucking highlighter. Um, I am holding on to this one. I'm not going to keep it in the project though. Uh, it's going to go straight back into my collection and I'm going to love and adore it until it is dead. Gold Gaga. Okay, so this came in at 11.84 grams last month and it's 11.79 grams this month. I did use it. I definitely did use it. At times I was even layering it over the Flormar Ultra Copper Eye Pencil just to make sure I was getting use out of it. Um, there's still a fair bit of product in there, but I'm going to keep going and thank you all for your reminders in my comments section to make sure you use Gold Gaga. Essence Super Curl Volume Mascara. So this came in at 20.58 grams last month and it is 20.30 grams now. I am going to swap this out. Um, I'm going to swap it out because it's actually been open for quite a while, um, but I've noticed when I wear this that it flakes off and leaves little black bits under my eyes, like on my cheekbones. And for me, that's just one of the many signs that a mascara is on its way out because it never used to do that. So I'm giving it to the gods, the mascara gods. You can take it back. Um, I wouldn't consider it empty because, you know, I can still get product on my eyes, um, but it's it's just not it's not performing the way it used to so i'm i'm binning it something else that i am binning um <laughs> is my bare minerals marvelous moxie lip gloss this is in the shade show off it's a beautiful color i love this and i was making good progress on it however i went and visited some friends uh over the weekend and they have um some toddlers and i was putting lip gloss on and um, one of the kids decided that they also wanted to put lip gloss on and I just couldn't, I couldn't say no because I didn't want them to throw a tantrum and be upset and before I knew it, um, there was a lip gloss wand in a toddler's mouth. So I'm going to bin it. I'm going to bin it and I'm alright with that. This one, like I've had it for ages, it's getting old um, and I'm okay with moving on to something else so there we go that one has also been given to the gods the toddler lip gloss gods i've got two pencil products here um i have the uh nude sticks in mystic i'm getting rid of it i'm getting rid of it i'm so sick of it i can't even tell you the color of this is beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. I love it. This is my perfect nude shade or within that family of nudes. I adore them. They're so easy to wear. However, I don't like this formula. It's so thick on the lips. It feels heavy. It feels like I have like a sticker stuck on my lips. It's so thick and just, mm, I can't, I can't. I'm pretty sure I have decluttered all of my nude stick products um, and this one is the last to go. It's just, I can't do it. I can't do it. I've been working on this. How long have I been working on this? Let me check. I've been working on this since February. If this, like, if I've not been able to finish this since February, you can tell I do not enjoy it. Um, and it's not like it's... It's a soft formula. It's easy to apply. There's no issues with that. You can reapply it. I just don't... Mm, mm -mm, I can't do it. I've, I've got to stop 
lying to myself about that product. Um, something else I'm not enjoying but I'm going to continue using is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I have no visible progress to show on this even though I wore makeup a hell of a lot in uh, September and I used this almost every single time I did my brows and that is uh, pretty much how it's been the whole time since I started using this. Next month I will definitely have a tiny bit of progress to show you um, but that's only because it takes two months for me to have actual visible progress with this thing. That's what's left. I'm, mm, I'm not loving it. It's taking a really long time to use up. The color is fine. The formula is fine. I'm just like you're deceptively long lasting. That's that's my issue with it. Something else, um, given the ass. This is the Vera Wang Princess Perfume. I tried, I did try. Um, I have a little bit of progress there, so you can see the line from last month and what's in there now. I'm over it, uh, so I'm getting rid of it. It's time, I'm done. Goodbye, my lover, goodbye, my friend. I think my last two products uh, that I've got progress to show on are the Greenland Milky Body Butter. I smashed through this. There is a tiny, tiny bit at the bottom. I've probably got like maybe three or four more applications to go. So last month this was 136.84 grams and it's now 72.08 grams. I thought this would be really really difficult to use up because it is such a rich thick body butter and I thought mm -mm, it's getting too warm I'm gonna struggle to get through this it's gonna take me months no no I was totally wrong this is very rich and thick however it absorbs into the skin beautifully I love how soft this has made my skin I've really really enjoyed it um and I will very, very happily finish up the last of that tub. My hair product is the Kerastase Serum Therapiste from the Resistance line. Um, this came in at 86.45 grams and it is now 81.16 grams. So I've used some of these in the past when my hair was bleached. I was going to say it bleached to within an inch of its life, but to be honest, like there was a point where uh, my hair, when it was wet, it was like spaghetti. So I really like, I killed it. I overkilled it. So back in the day when I used to use this, I didn't adore it. Um, I found that I went through it really quickly and also I found it made my hair very static, um, which was problematic. Um, I also didn't think it was super, super effective uh, for my level of extreme damage. Um, but to be fair, my level of extreme damage was you should have just cut your fucking hair off. It was that bad. But I've been using it this month and I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It makes my hair so, so soft and silky. Um, so I'm really enjoying it. And I am more than happy to keep going with this. And I'm kind of hoping, maybe, if I'm super lucky, I might have another one of these stashed away somewhere. Which will really just be the cherry on top. Because I'm really enjoying that. So I want to introduce some new products into the project for things that I've rotated out. Or for things that I'm almost done with. Um, I'm bringing in a new body product. This is the Jergens Skin Firming Moisturizer. Uh, I have <laughs> this much to go. It's a lot. Um, now, the reason I chose this one is simply because it's big, it takes up a lot of space, um, and I broke the pump bottle. Now, I do have uh, more Jergens bottles, so I've got a pump that I can replace this one with. But because they're so big, they take up a lot of space in storage. And because I have multiples, uh, they take up even more space. So I would like to work on some of my Jergens moisturizers. Um, I love Jergens moisturizers. This skin firming one, really enjoy it. Leaves my skin so soft. I love soft skin. It's just, oh, it brings me great joy. Um, 
so I'd like to work on that one and it's it's very hydrating but it's not I don't feel like it's gonna feel too heavy when I'm applying it um, through the warmer months so I think this one might be a good one to work on um, we'll do it we'll get through it it will be fun oh my god I don't even know where to start let me do a lip scrub uh, this is the bliss fabulips sugar lip scrub so I got I've had a go at this uh, it's got a nice big dip in it I'm gonna stick this one in my shower and see if I can get through it, it smells delicious I want to eat it yum I'm having a good time this year going through my lip scrubs I think I've still got I think I've still got maybe a couple left okay I had to check because I was curious I've actually only got one other lip scrub left aside from this one and it's Colourpop one so I'm gonna get through these I honestly I've been enjoying my lip scrubs um, when I have them in the shower and you know use them there but I don't feel like lip scrubs are a product that I must have in my life. Um, I think I would definitely treat myself to one from Lush in the future. Um, like the Santa Baby one I really enjoyed. So, you know, I won't be buying it this year if they've got it. Uh, but maybe next year when I have no lip scrubs and I just want you know, I want Santa Baby back in my life, then yeah, I would treat myself to it. But it's, these aren't products that I feel like I need in my life. I feel like I can exfoliate my lips in other ways without having like a dedicated product to do it. So while I don't mind using what I have, I don't feel like they're a thing that I really need to purchase. So I'm getting through them. I've got two left. Let's do this. I'm introducing a new perfume and I'm giving myself a challenge this time. This is one of the Katy Perry perfumes and it is full. I've used this not even half a dozen times. Um, I have quite a few perfumes like this uh, back here and I want to spend some time playing with them and working on them. So my plan for this guy is to essentially use it until the end of the project. So the end of December um, and then assess from there how I feel about it. If I haven't, you know, fallen in love with it and I'm not feeling like it's something that I want to continue using, I think I'll see if my mum wants it um, and then I'll do the same with another perfume and I'll just rinse and repeat as I go through next year. Um, I do want to dwindle down my perfume collection a little bit. I've got a couple in my room that I sort of rotate through um, and one of them is one of the DKNY uh, apples it looks like this but it's a green one um, and just with like fairly regular use but not actually focusing on finishing it it's like just a little over half or a little under half done so I think I want to have one that I'm focusing on in my project pan and then one or two that's in my room that I'm just sort of playing with and it, it gives me a little bit of, you know, something different. So I'm not we wearing the same fragrance every single day. Um, but this is the one I have chose to put in my project pan and I'm going to see. I'm just going to see how it goes. Um, I can't say for sure if I've ever put... A basically full perfume in a project pan so I'm actually pretty keen to see my progress each month um, yeah I don't know let's let's see how she goes I'm also chucking in a uh, nail polish this is from LA colors it's color craze uh, nail polish in cocktail this is a holographic uh, pinky glitter. There is so little product in here, like so little, um, but I just keep forgetting to use it. I've actually been trying to work on this for about four months, uh, but I keep forgetting. So I thought if I put it in my project pan and it's sort of with my project pan things that are in my room, like my uh, skincare products and stuff like that, I might have some luck in actually using it. We'll see.
Next is makeup. So I am introducing a new lip liner. This is from Colourpop and it is in the shade Beeper. So I, I think I actually have two of these. I'm not too sure. But the reason I'm chucking this one in is because the bottom is broken. I've like sticky taped it so it doesn't fall out. Um, and I really like Colourpop's lip liner formula. This one is a really nice nude. It will go with everything. So I'd like to uh, finish that one up because the packaging is broken. Mascara, I'm chucking in the Essence You Better Work Volume and Curl Mascara. This one's been open for a little while now, maybe two months, maybe. So I feel like I need to actually uh, get some use out of it before it's got to go. Um, I'm not really one to throw out my mascaras every three months. I just, I let them tell me when they're ready to go with the, either the transferring, the flaking, or... I somehow managed to actually finish it up and I can't apply it to my lashes anymore. So that's the one I'm going to work on. Uh, concealer, because I got rid of that bloody Makeup Forever concealer and I refuse to use the MAC uh, Studio Concealer on my face because I don't like it that way, I'm chucking in Tarte Shape Tape. Um, this is in the shade Light Neutral. Uh, I don't have any idea how much product is in this. I did weigh it, but I'm hoping that it will settle and I'll be able to mark it. If not, it's going to be weighed uh, until the end of days. Um, but it's a big one. They have 10 mils in them, so we'll see how I go. I am chucking in another brow product, and that is because when I use the Goof Proof Brow Pencil, I like to pair it with something that is more precise where I can like fill in tiny little areas because I don't feel like uh, this guy really allows a lot of precision because it's kind of not chunky but chunky in comparison to fine line brow products. Um, I'm chucking in a Brow Contour Pro from Benefit and I'm, I'm putting one of these in because I've actually got two of them. Um, now I've got like these have the four shades around them, right? So you've got uh, the lighter shade, the deeper shade, then there is a definer and a highlight shade. I don't know if I'm going to use the definer and the highlight shade. Like, I don't want to, you know, say that I will when mm, I'll probably try them and then be like, nah, fuck that. I'm not... I'm not like actually going to bring another step into my routine that I feel is unnecessary. But the lighter shade and the deeper shade, I definitely want to use up. So we'll see how we go with the definer and the highlighter. But don't be surprised if I'm like, nah, you're useless. Powder. I'm bringing in the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Um, so... People have been telling me that if I don't use this quickly, it's going to lose its sort of uh, wet touch feel when you apply it. So I figured, fine, I will use it. Um, it's here. I don't know. It looks like it's half full. So we'll see how we go. It'll probably take me quite a few months to get through it, but we'll see. I'm bringing in two eyeliners. These are from Shuamura. They are the water paint ink liners and I have them in blue and red. I also have a purple one, uh, but it's actually on its way out. I'm not even sure if I'll get another application out of it. Um, it's sitting upside down in a, uh, like a cup holder or a, not a cup holder, a brush holder um, to see if I can get one more use out of it before it's dead. Um, but I feel like I've had these for a while and I feel like I want to get as much use out of them as I can before they completely dry up. Um, these are really interesting when you apply them. They don't look like much at all. They they look like, um, you know, they're, they doesn't look like you would apply as a wing liner product. Um, but when they go on the eyes, they really transform and they have this beautiful color depth and they define really well. So I really want to get some use out of them. I think the red one is the one that's going to have to be focused on first because, um, again, it's, I think, just potentially starting to dry out and I want to use them. I want to use them because I've really, really enjoyed them. 
face spray, setting spray, face mist, the things that you spray on your face. I'm chucking in the Fix Plus Pink Light from MAC. Um, and I'm chucking this one in because I didn't like it. <laughs> so this one usually has like a sediment of like pink shimmer and you shake it up and then when you spray it on your face it leaves like splotches of pink. It's not fine enough for them to justify putting shimmer in one of these. It is a bit splotchy and splurty and it doesn't give an even finish um, so I don't know why they thought it would be a good idea but they did anyway. Um, now I did use this a few times under makeup um, but I just found that while it worked and I wasn't left with like pink splotches on a finished face I just found that it was so limiting like I could only use it as a priming spray like what's the point the, the reason I love fix plus is because you can use it as a priming spray you can use it in between applications so in between layers and you can use it as a finishing spray so it's just it's an all-rounder hydrator for the skin and I love it but because of the shimmer it just totally like you can't finish with it it's it's too much um, so what I did was I let all of the shimmer settle um, I tipped out the liquid and then I washed out the shimmer and put the liquid back in so now I'm gonna work on this one um, I've got you know quite a few fix plus bottles in my in my um, drawers back here and I feel like I really need to focus on setting spray so that's one that I will happily finish up um, next I'm putting a face palette in the project. This is the Becca Afterglow palette. Um, so this is what it looks like. Uh, we've got highlighters, blushes and bronzers I suppose. I don't know. What do we got? Um, we've got Moonstone, Rose Gold and Topaz which are all Shimmering Skin Perfector pressed. And then we have two blushes, Wild Honey and Flower Child. So these are the Shimmering Skin Perfectors and these are the blushes. Um, so this is taking over from my blush and highlight in the project. Um, and I want to... Look. <laughs> I want to finish it. I want to finish it. Uh, but I know it will take a very long time to finish it. I want to hit pan. On something in here before the end of the year three months I've got um, this contains how much product 7.4 grams uh, so look it's, it's it's a lot it's a lot pray for me lips okay so I've decided until the end of the year I'm going to focus on mini lip products so I have a, a little tray here of mini lip products um, and earlier in the year I went through and uh, sort of cleaned these out decluttered some of them um, but I feel like this is this is too many I don't need this many mini lipsticks and like if you look here I've got four Clarins um, instant lip what are they instant lip comfort oils um, and I've even got another one of these in my bag in a yellow shade I don't need that many. I don't need to be hoarding that many. I need to use them. So what I'm going to do is basically focus on mini lip products until the end of the year and see what I can get through. Now with this particular tray, there are some in here. I'm not sure if I love the formula or the color. So I'm going to keep experimenting with that. But what I did do, clinkity clankity, I pulled out uh, three, four, or yeah, three formulas, uh, and color, or three that I knew that I enjoy and I'm happy to use and I, I want to use them. So I picked out a lip gloss, a liquid lipstick and a standard lipstick. Now my standard lipstick is actually four, but they're itty bitty teeny tiny. These are the Winky Lux pill lipsticks. So they look like this. They are gorgeous. I love the formula of these. I enjoy the colors. I might have trouble with this dark purple one. I don't know. We'll see how we go. I might be able to pair it with something else to make it work uh, in these warmer months. 
but I really want to have a go at finishing these. I've had them for a long time. I want to keep the pills, but I don't want to have like rancid old lipstick in them years down the track. So I want to try and use them. My liquid lipstick is from Colourpop. This is an ultra satin lip. This is my favourite um, liquid lipstick formula from Colourpop. This is in the shade Stud. Again, this is a very pretty one. I actually finished a uh, ultra satin lip from Colourpop earlier in this project this year um, and I, I actually found it quite easy to do. I was so surprised. Um, I like the formula of these because I think they're, they're comfortable, they're not super drying, they wear well and if you put a lip balm or a lip gloss over top totally transforms them um, and it doesn't like fuck with the formula either. It still looks good on the lips. So I'd like to finish up one of them. And uh, I've got a lip gloss from Pixie. It's a mini. This is a Pixie by Petra uh, Lip Lift Max in the shade Honey Sheen. So this is sort of a shimmery lip gloss, um, but the shimmer doesn't show up too much. You can see there it's kind of just a, you know, a pretty sort of pale nude sheer lip gloss. Um, lip glosses I actually find very easy to finish up. Um, if little bugger lugs hadn't got into this I would have made more progress on it. <laughs> All right I have been here for a very long time. This is a damn lot of products. My desk is literally covered in products. I'm gonna go and clean it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this update of my project pan. Let me know how you guys are going with your project pan. Did you do a monthly refresh this month? Are you like getting rid of a few things, maybe swapping some stuff out just to keep things fresh for you? Let me know. Let me know how you're going. Uh, I wish you all the luck with project pan because I feel like this is the time of year when you've been doing a year-long project pan, things can get really, really tedious. We're three months out from finishing the project and it can get a bit stifling. Um, but I'm feeling really good and I think having a big refresh um, has helped. I'm just, you know, being a bit more cutthroat about what I'm keeping makes me feel good about the project. So let me know how you're going. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.